Hey, what's up guys? It's Franco here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video today. And today, Clan War League's actually just, uh, well not today. It ended a little bit ago, but um, I've been a little bit busy and I couldn't quite record a video, but um, I don't want to spoil it yet. I wonder if we can show the previous Clan War League. So yeah, oh, I guess it spoiled it here. But we got promoted in Masters 3, promoted in Masters 2, and you even heard the video that I was hyping up this Clan War League before it started, which I will link at the end of the video. You can watch that, what I thought our prediction would be. I thought we were going to get 6th, and we ended up getting 2nd, which is way better than I expected, and it does really suck. I really wanted to get promoted to Champions League, um, and I thought we'd be way stronger at Champions doing a 15 versus 15 war compared to the um, 30v30 that we usually do, and I know we could do a 15v15 in Masters 1, but... I just feel like you gotta give the most people rewards and you really gotta establish a huge foundation of our clan. And honestly, it's not the worst thing that we stayed in Masters 2 because it was one of those things that we debated for a little while in our clan. Like, do we just stay in Masters 1 and get second place constantly? Because that is the most medals you can get in Clash of Clans as a whole. Because you're having 30 people get however many medals it said. It said, uh, you're having 30 people get 376 versus at the highest in champions league you can only do 15 v 15 wars versus 15 people getting 508 um so ultimately if you do the 30 v 30 with the lower league you're getting more than the 15 v 15 v 15 i have a calculator out here right now so 15 times 508 is a total of 7620 medals but in masters one second place we have 376 times 30, which is 11,280. So that is significantly more medals, just assuming you're only putting 30 people in, and that's all. also only assuming you're putting in 15 people. But obviously for both, um, both you can put in more, rotate in more people. Uh, so 30 you can probably rotate in about 45 people, and 15 you can probably rotate in about 25 people. So, or maybe 30, who knows. But um, ultimately, that was one of the things we debated for a little while. Um, and I guess it just happened to work out that we got second and we didn't have to throw at the end of Clan Release to try to get second if we were in first or something because we actually did just lose. There wasn't too much we could do. We had so many one stars this Clan Release, so many members that were kind of okay ishly strong after these Root Rider nerfs just wouldn't help but one starting like they see that their attacks were going horribly wrong like the queen dies right away something happens and people just are programmed if you're not a skilled attacker you just have the one way to attack and no other way and people are just programmed that you gotta just always overgrowth the town hall that makes sense if you're not on a risk of one starring if there's no chance you're gonna three star if you overgrowth the town hall you are an idiot and so many people did it and I'll go through the wars here. I thought I would show this replay here of uh, my second account, the number 28 in the Clan War League going off against the number one. And this is the strategy I actually copied from Itsu Clash of Clans, his channel. And I was on a tear. Oh my god. I was doing okay in the beginning of Clan War Leagues. I missed a couple of attacks. But even if we look at this last war, if we go to war events, the very first event that happened, I logged on. I was like, fuck it. We're going number one. Ted stole number three from me. So I was like, we're going number one, number four. And then on my main account, we did number five. So I got all three of my attacks, three stars on the very top people, the bases that I found favorable. And then war number six, because when the Clan War Leagues ticks over, it's not like you have to wait a buffer period or anything. So right at the very end, end of this one i did my one attack two attacks on the two bases that were open so i i did so it says with 30 minutes left and 26 minutes left and then i did these next ones in the war right away on war number seven so i did five three stars in a row on max town hall 16s without even max level hero equipments i actually was feeling so confident and so strong with this attack strategy that i was like yo I think I mastered it, and even with these accounts, so if I, if I show you what these accounts are, these Franco 2 and Franco 3, they're completely rushed. There's nothing to them other than just a max Town Hall 16, or a, like the Town Hall itself is max. They're completely rushed, uh, no troops, I just pop Power Potion, Hero Potion, I just use those dragons and go to town. So even with the worst account I could get, still attacking at full power, obviously I don't have max hero equipments, 
Um, I still have this tax strategy out. I feel so confident for these upcoming Clan or Leagues, and I feel so like happy in myself for finally being able being a strong player in clan wars like i've never been that guy and i always say like oh i'm better at builder base whatever but man now i got my shit together for home village and i did mess up on my main account and on this account i did lose one star on franco too but i figure we should show me going through these bonus medals and this is the only fair way you really just got to go down the list select all the top people and give out the medals like that but Unless you have some controversy. So this Bill guy just left after Clan War Leagues. He's decided to create his own clan um, because he was in my clan for a while and he had tons of friends join. And over time, these friends were just ass. And they just all got kicked at some point. And he even said it when he left. He was like, everybody just either left or got kicked at this point because they were just bad. And he was like, I'm just going to invite them back and start his own clan. So, hey, it's props to him, but I'm not going to give him Clan or League medal bonus because he's not even in the clan anymore. It doesn't matter. I want to give it to the loyal people of the clan. So Ted earned it for sure. He's. I actually think this guy's in top 100. I'm not going to botch it. I actually want to show it off to just show how high in trophies this guy is. So right now, he, whoa, wait a minute. Right now, he's number 11 in the world. That is crazy. Yeah, he's number 11 in the world right now. Obviously, he did... Wow, he hasn't even done all his attacks, too. All these people have done all their attacks. Honestly, you could probably push to number one right now. But what? I don't even know. I was not expecting to show that in this video. But um, like I was saying is if we give out the bonuses, this guy deserved it. Cla I mean, everybody who went perfect just deserves these medals. Um, and I messaged everybody. I said, hey, th before I give them out, I said, hey, if you do not want your medals at the top of the leaderboard, please message me. So... The only person that actually ended up messaging me was this Lunatics guy, because he's also a fully maxed Town Hall 16 like that Ted guy, and he said he actually doesn't want them. So I'm just putting them to the next people, and it actually lands on my second account that I just showed, or Franco2, not my second account. Um, but I don't want that for my account either, so I'm giving it to my main account. My main account messed up, but hey, it's still me. I choose to put them to the other accounts. And I even asked this Alex guy if he wants to give it to number two or number three, and he just said, whoever earned it. So all the people that got these top medals, you definitely deserved it. And I know it might seem a little sketchy, me giving it to myself, but hey, Franco2 deserved it, same as Franco1. But there we go. I think I'll give out all these medals right now. It's always, oh, it's always so tough to hit that button because I'm like, I hope I didn't mess up and accidentally give it to someone wrong. But yeah, there we go. We'll give it to the, we'll give these bonus medals out. And we got an extra 90. I got a total of 300 or 466 medals. That is actually so many. That comes out to, well, still only three hammers, almost four hammers. Actually, I, oh, I will be able to buy four hammers because I just bought one as soon as this ended. I actually love how they changed up the chat or the shop user interface. So now I'm waiting for another hammer to refresh. And even if we do the math here, I have four hammers. That's four weeks. Realistically, I'm going to be constantly using hammers for the rest of our Clash of Clans, my rest of my Clash of Clans career. As soon as it refreshes, I'll get to the new one. But it was a little bit disappointing. You see, we did have a loss here against this um, Don Keat, not a Keat clan. Like I was saying, we had so many ass one stars. Like, a 95 one isn't bad. Like, I can see how that happens, Root Riders at the end. Obviously, I can't show the replays because of, of the new uh, update, so they wipe all the replays even if I hit the button there. This guy just was a one star, two star machine. Um, we had a lot of lackluster attackers. Like, even this one guy who's a longtime member, um, like, I, DM Goku, his name is, like, he had an average hit rate of like 1.8, like so bad. If you go six attacks and get 11 stars, 12 stars would be two stars exact. So he was under two star average. Some of these people were like low two star averages. And what I did is from War 1, which I think is honestly perfectly fair, is if someone one starred, so this guy one starred, um, who else one starred? I know this guy must one start at Town Hall 15. I was like, if you one start, you aren't taking it seriously, and I take you out of clan release. And that's exactly what I did. And a lot of people really complained those one stars, even in the feeder clan. People were like, what do you mean? I, I want to be in the next wars. I want to get my full reward. And I was like, hey, if you want to get your full reward, just take out the Town Hall. Simple as that. Like, just give us an extra star. And honestly, it probably did come down to that because we only lost by... 24 stars and if we go through all the one stars and make them two stars we probably had about 10 so that's an extra 10 stars we would have lost by 14 and then in this matchup here this head-to-head -head, 
We just had so many people choke, including myself. So we had a one star here, and uh, Bill just was two star in all war. It wasn't wasn't great. We had some really low hit rates amongst the top Town Hall 16s because I think a lot of people really didn't know I even two starred there. That was really horrible because I, considering I <laughs> one star or three star the number one and two on my Franco two and three accounts, and then on my main account I actually couldn't even. <laughs> Three star to the lowest guy, and that was when I used E-Drags, and that was the last E-Drags attack I ever used. The Dragon strategy that I was showing before is just so powerful, and I definitely recommend doing it. Um, I know I showed that one replay, you just blimp out the Town Hall, and your life will be so much better. You'll be such a sh uh, stronger member for Clan or Leagues, um, and I actually, look at this, highest Town Hall. I've been kicking out all the Rush Town Hall 16s. We have about... 39 not rushed Town Hall 16. I haven't checked all of them, obviously, but they're not rushed. Okay, that one's a little rushed. Um, but I usually go by the level to determine if someone's not rushed. But a level 237, like, I don't care how rushed you are. If you're level 237, that's still a pretty good player. But we just got a whole surplus of Town Hall 16s, and it's literally because of this new clan notice feature. All I do is I just hit publish notice when the clan isn't at 50, and we get swamped with people joining. Look at this. If we scroll up here, um, join, 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 left, join, join. Just so many people, but hey, if we keep kicking out the bad ones, eventually we have 50 strong members, and we I don't even think we need it. We are going to get promoted to champions next clan or leagues without a doubt in my mind based off the lineup we have here. I don't even think it'll be close, because this one was close, next one won't even be close at all. But that's it for the video. I really wanted to make this video just to show off how we did in clan or leagues, and... I think I feel very optimistic for next clan or leagues. And if we go to the feeder clan, I can show um, how they did. I, they also got promoted. It's kind of close, honestly. Uh, so they're going to Masters 3. And I'm just saying right now, they do not have the depth to stay in Masters 3. It is a tough league. And based off of how many one stars and two stars they got, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But if you're interested in joining the clan, there are two spots open as of recording this video. And if you're if you really want to be one of the top hitters that make us go to Champions League, and we will get significantly more medals. So even if we look at how many medals you get, if you really want to get a lot of medals for yourself, join the clan, be a hitter. Uh, we'll get 424 if we win. Uh, well, we're still a master. 382 plus the bonuses if you go perfect. And then next league, 424, 466. I think we can go all the way up to Champion 2. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about Champion 1. But that's it for the video. If you're interested in seeing what I thought we were doing before Clan World League started or my predictions, click on the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.